Their paddy fields look lush and green, but in reality these farmers are struggling. On May 6 last year they were forced to go organic overnight and their production has plummeted since. I am very sad that poor people are facing huge problems now. Kumara Megastana lost his job as a construction worker after prices of cement skyrocketed. All he and his family have is a few paddy fields to feed themselves. By buying expensive fertilizer on the black market, he hopes to increase production. I'm working so hard, but it feels as if it is all for nothing. The government gave us organic fertilizer, but it's not good. With good fertilizer, we got a lot of rice, but now it's just a fraction. Before I bought good fertilizer, my harvest went down with 50%. Six months after their dramatic decision, the government lifted the ban. By then, the country was already in its worst economic crisis since its independence 70 years ago. This is one of the painful legacies of former President Gotabaya Rajapaksa's policies. The agricultural sector has nearly collapsed. In just three years, Sri Lanka, that long been an exporter of rice, has now been forced to import their staple food. The imports are costing the country dearly. Here in the hills around Kandy, Sri Lanka's second largest city, all of the country's current crises come together. To take their rice and vegetables to the market, farmers need fuel, which is in short supply. Those who are lucky enough to find fuel to buy find the markets nearly empty, because traders and buyers face a lack of fuel too. We can't rely on this business anymore. If we manage to bring 500 kilos of vegetables from our farms here, there are no customers to buy it. And while the price has gone up, for example, 500 rupees a kilo, at the end of the day, I am forced to sell for 200 rupees. I keep losing money. And the impending disaster. Professor Marambe was sacked as a government advisor after he had warned the import ban was a recipe for disaster. So it's a man-made disaster, very unfortunately. It's too late, but still we have some hope that we are in the correct path. This is not going to say organic agriculture is bad. I mean, we, nobody should get that impression. Right, They are all parallel lines, but we are looking at country's food security, not a food security of a small group of people. He says domestically grown rice will run out in a few months, leaving whoever takes over as president a massive problem. How to pay for imported rice to prevent a humanitarian disaster when the government has run out of foreign currency. Stepfasen, Al Jazeera, Kandy, Sri Lanka.